welcome back to Sparkle with Safi with me, your favourite Disney beauty and travel YouTuber. If you're new, hi. If you've been here before, welcome back. Make sure you're hitting subscribe to the channel. It's free and it just really, really helps my channel grow and get seen by more people. So hit those like and subscribe buttons and follow me on Instagram, Sparkle with Safi X. So for those of you who are new, I have been a performer for Disney Cruise Line. I've been on and off the cruise ships since 2018. Obviously, it's a very weird time with COVID at the moment. Um, so I am at home and I'm doing my master's degree in primary education. So very exciting. And I also work one day a week at Charlotte Tilbury. So I get access to all these amazing products and I want to share them with you. I've realised throughout COVID, it's really, really difficult if you want to buy a product to actually know if it's the right product for you, if you want to see what it's like when somebody's putting it on, what it's like on different skin types. So one of those things what, that I felt really needed to be addressed was foundation, in particular, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. So this is the one that I wear all the time. This is like my go-to. If I'm performing, this. If I'm on a night out, this. If I'm going to work, this. It's such a good foundation. I used to wear lots of NARS and I found this to be even better. Um, if you're somebody who likes Estee Lauder double wear but thinks it's a bit drying and a bit thick, this is like, you get amazing coverage similar to the double wear but without that dryness or that thick feeling that I didn't like at all. Um, so I want to do a review of this product for you today. Um, I've got it on at the moment um, and I'm going to show you how I apply it, the primer that I use and what it looks like with other products on top. This product is a shade 2 because I'm very, very pale. I also have a 2 in the Magic Away Concealer and I use a shade 1 in the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I don't push any products on my channel or try and promote them if I don't like them or I don't use them personally because this is my own personal blog and I just think it's really important if I don't like the product or I wouldn't use it, I'm not going to talk about it and promote it to you online because I don't think that's fair. But all in all, I've been using this for, I want to say a year, a year now, and it is the best foundation I have ever used. The longevity of it is fantastic. I personally am very oily. Um, I had to go on Roaccutane in 2017 because I had such bad acne. And actually, you have a look right here. This is the after look. I am going to do one from Naked Raw Skin for you in a moment. Um, you can see it's not super oily or super shiny. It is that full coverage with a slight glow. So this is honestly such an incredible foundation. You will not regret it. Um, but I'm going to get on and show you what it's like applying it, how I applied the product and what it looks like and how it supports all the products. But make sure you're giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel. Okay guys, so before I put on the Airbrush Flawless Foundation, I am going to put on a primer. So this is the NARS Radiance Primer. Charlotte Tilbury do an amazing one. I just don't have it at the moment. Um, so I'm going to pop a tiny bit of that on my hands. And as always, using the Charlotte Techniques, I am going to make sure I put it on with upward motions. All of them should be looking at an angel wings motion. So up and out, just like that. I don't really put it close to my eyes. I do like to put it all over the skin, even though I'm very rosy and I'm quite oily. I do think it's really important to always have a primer on just because it makes the foundation sit much nicer. Look how red I go just from touching my face. You can tell, very, very sensitive skin. I am really excited to put on this foundation in front of you all as well because I have a little dried up blemish just here. So you're going to get the opportunity to see how well it does cover things like if you have little scars or little blemishes, little dry spots, it really does cover them up. So, my Airbrush Flawless Foundation in a shade 2 Neutral. It's the same shade that I use for the Light Wonder, shade 2. I also have the shade 2 in the Magic Away Concealer. So, here it is. I'm going to pop a little bit on the back of my hand. So that's just one pump right here. And I like to just work that in using my brush. So I'm using an Urban Decay brush at the moment. 
Normally I would use the Magic Complexion brush, but mine's got loads of makeup on it from yesterday. So just doing that and I'm gonna go from the center of my face and again with outward motions. And we are just going to press it into the skin. Like so. Always from the center outwards, like so. I really do like this brush by Urban Decay as well because I feel like it's the closest one to the Magic Complexion brush. So I am really a fan of it. And look how far it has spread already. It's amazing, like just one pump can literally do your entire face. So, just pressing that. I obviously like to leave a nice gap where I'm gonna put my concealer. And also because, even though it's not the Charlotte way, Charlotte always does her concealer first, I am gonna be doing a little eyeshadow tutorial in the middle of this. Um, so I like to not put it underneath the eyes, just in case pigments and such fall from the eyeshadow and then it can get a bit murky. So I am gonna leave a nice gap where I'm gonna put my concealer after I've done my eyeshadow. So just pressing that in. I am just going to use a tiny bit more just for this bottom section of my face where I have got a little bit of redness. Since I had my acne treatment and took Raccutane, I always get dry patches just down here. So um, I have to make sure I put a little bit extra on there. But just pressing it in to the face and to the skin. Then I'm gonna take a tiny little bit on the back of my hand and I like to just do it just underneath the brows to bring the whole look together. So just like so. Obviously at Charlotte Tilbury we don't do an eyeshadow primer. So I just like to put this underneath the brows to make sure we've, we're joining the whole look. Um, and we're removing those purple tones from underneath the eyebrows because that's where we have our veins and things. So I do like to make sure we've got rid of those purple bluey tones. Now because I want to show you how other products sit on top of this foundation because that is a big thing for me. Firstly with foundation I care about coverage but also I do like to see how bronzer and blusher and powder sit on top of a foundation. So I'm going to use my Nudegasm palette by Charlotte Tilbury. And I am going to put on a little bit of bronzer um, and then some blush so you can really see how it sits. So this is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it. I have done a video on it on the Super Nudes Nudegasm palette so check that out if you're interested. Using the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Sculpt brush I am going to look at the contour shade and I pop a little, little bit on the cheekbones again always looking upwards. So really focus on taking the product upwards and I just literally want to create a tiny bit of definition with this product. I don't want to use it too much because I am very fair and I feel like it can be a bit much for me otherwise. It's such a good support. It literally is foundation. Like if you think about building a house, it is the bottom part and you need to have a solid foundation to build on everything else. And that is what I think of this foundation. It's solid, so all the other products sit on it really nicely. So now I'm gonna go in with the Love. This one right here, which is the bronzer, and I am just going to do that pretty much all over. So as you can see, I've bronzed up the face. I am gonna go in now with the blusher. So Charlotte Tilbury always uses the blusher last. That is her finishing thing, the finishing product. Um, however, because I know the look I'm gonna do, I already know the blusher, and I am gonna do the pillow talk. And for the purpose of this video, I want you to I want to show you it now so you can see what it's like on the foundation. Okay, so here we are. I just did an eye look. It's going to come in a separate video called the Instant Eye Palette, which is part of the Christmas collection. You need to get it. It's amazing. But I want to do a close-up so you can see the foundation and see the foundation with products on it. So you can see my bronzer hasn't gone gappy. The blusher isn't sitting in, you know, weird on the skin. Um, it's not super shiny and I haven't even powdered my face yet. So I really, really like this product because even though it's full coverage, it's not very, very drying. There's still quite a bit of shine going on, but also not so much that I look oily. So I am going to take my airbrush flawless powder and just show you what it looks like when you put it on the foundation. So I'll use this fluffy brush. This is normally a blending brush. So I am just going to take this. This is in a shade one. And obviously I wear a shade two neutral in the foundation. And I'm just gonna pop it underneath the eyes to really help set that Magic Away concealer. I'm gonna tag that product below, it's amazing. Um, I'm gonna put it down these parts of my face because this is typically what gets very shiny. And on my chin, 
and then on my forehead just like so. So you can see even with the powder on, I'm really zooming in for you, it hasn't created lots of texture, it hasn't broken up the foundation or the other products and the product sits so nicely. It's a fantastic base. Not just saying this from a performer perspective, I would use this for shows but also if I'm working on the Charlotte Tilbury counter I am going to use the Airbrush Flawless Foundation because it lasts all day and the products sit beautifully on top. So. I highly recommend. I hope this video has been helpful. Make sure you are going to the Charlotte Tilbury website and using my code below for 15% off. And like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram, Sparkle with Sophie X. And I'll see you next time for loads of Disney beauty and travel fun on the channel.